Right, so one time Fionn McCool and the Fianna, they were out by Loch Darg and they were just fucking around as usual, the pricks. So they accidentally come upon a pile of bones. A human bones, very clearly human bones. There was a couple of shin bones and a spine and a very, very long finger. Now if any of them had thought about it for even a moment, they'd have remembered that just a couple of years ago they had been around here and there was a hag, a kylock, with an extremely long finger. And she had a son who was a giant. And she was causing trouble in the area, so they, they went chasing after her. She got up on her son's back and he ran off. They managed to shoot her in the back with a bow. And by the time the son stopped running, all that was left of her was her shins, her spine and her long finger. But of course, none of them thought that deeply about it. So, a fair Darig, a little man, like a leprechaun, but red and very angry. He come up, he came up, and he said to them, Sure, do you not remember? It was only a few years ago you killed that poor old woman there. Now, granted, she was a very evil old woman, but Jesus Christ, still, lads, have you not an ounce of conscience between the lot of yous? Now listen, listen, you have to be very careful of these bones, mind. Because there's a red worm living in one of them. It was the source of that Kylox power. And if that red worm gets free and has enough to drink, it'll turn into a huge monster and kill hundreds of people. And then the fair Darig, as suddenly as he appeared, wandered back off, having delivered his exposition. And most of the Fianna, they thought about this as like, ah, well, we'd better leave them bones alone then, we don't want to make a huge monster. But Colleen Ware, the little shit that he was, he took the pommel of his sword and started smashing the bones. And a little red caterpillar crawled out of one of the broken bones. And Colleen Ware, he spears it on the tip of his sword and fucks it into the middle of Loch Derg. Five seconds later, a gigantic paste, a huge lake monster, erupts out of the waters of Loch Derg. And everyone looks at Colleen Ware as like, you fucking shite. And the paste, the huge monster, it's rampaging all over the place. It's tearing huge chunks out of local villages. It's devouring people and Fionn, he says, lads, this is our fault. We need to do something about that. And so he leads the Fianna, he leads his warriors to fight the page, to battle it. And no matter what they do, no matter how hard they strike it, no matter what weapon they use, they cannot pierce its hide. And so, as he often did in times of great stress, Fionn reverted to childhood and began to suck upon his thumb. In so doing, he did regain all of the wisdom humanity has ever ever acquired which is honestly not that much because of when he had used his thumb to pop a blister on the skin of the summon of knowledge and with that knowledge in his head he realized that this paste it had one weak spot a mole upon its skin that could easily be pierced by a sword and that if this mole was cut through, the paste would be left dying on the ground, left to bleed out. Now unfortunately, of course, there was a catch. The catch was that this mole wasn't on the outside of the paste, it was inside its stomach. So Fionn McCool, he ordered his men to rejoin the attack, and he marched in with them, and as his men dodged and parried, Fionn, he stood still, and he stood firm, staring up at the paste, as if daring it to swallow him. And of course, it swallowed him. And so Fionn, inside the mouth of the paste, he gallops down the inside of its neck, gallops down its throat, into its stomach, and there he meets two hundred men, women, children, and those to whom those labels do not apply. And they're all begging him, please, Fionn, you have to release us. How do we get out of this worm? What do we do? And he ignores them bravely. 
he marches forward into the stomach, splashing through the sulfuric acid in its belly, and he finds hundreds of people, most dead, some still writhing in agony as they were digested, but he ignored them, they weren't worth his bother. He went and he searched out that mole. Finding it, it was almost as big as he was. He lashed at it with his sword, cutting and carving it, until he eventually cut a hole through the side of the worm. Then, finally, he turned to the people, the people trapped in the worm's belly, and he said, Now, now you can get out. This way, please, one at a time, don't push. So Fionn and the people who were devoured by the worm, they all managed to escape. In the Fianna, they left. But the Paste, the Paste was left there, lying on the side of Loch Darg, its blood spilling into the water, dying at red. Red. What we call Diarag in Irish. It's how Loch Darg got its name. But a day later, the worm was still bleeding and writhing in pain. A week later, it still bled and wrothed in pain. A month, a year, a hundred years, until St. Patrick came. And when he arrived and saw this worm, he did not take pity on it. He condemned it, drove it down to the bottom of Loch Darg, where it resides to this day, amongst all of the other monsters that are supposedly living at the bottom of Loch Darg. It must be a very congested location at this point.